Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Kamaria, some of you know me as Miss K, and I'm really glad to be here and reading for all of you today. I hope that while the museum is closed, we'll be reading a different story and doing a different activity every Thursday at 12 p.m. Hope you all can join us. So if everybody's ready, we're gonna get comfortable, get cozy, and get started with our story time. So we like to start our story time with our story time song. If you've never sung it with us before, it goes to the tune of This Old Man, and you can clap or sing along if you know the words. One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time at the Met, where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We use our eyes to look and see. We use our ears to hear stories. Now we'll take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book, or our one book <laughs> today. So today's book is Sparky, and it's written by Jenny Offel and illustrated by Chris Applehans. This is one of my favorite books. I'm so excited to be able to share it with you today. Sparky. <clears throat> I wanted a pet. A bird or a bunny, or a trained seal. My mother said no to the bird. No to the bunny. No, no, no to the trained seal. I asked her every day for a month until finally she said, you can have any pet you want, as long as it doesn't need to be walked or bathed or fed. I made her promise. Then I went to see the school librarian. Mrs. Kinkelbaum, who knows everything in the world, pointed me to volume S of the Animal Encyclopedia. This is what I found. Sloth. Sloths have been known to sleep more than 16 hours a day. It's a very long nap time. They sometimes hang upside down in trees, barely moving for long periods of time. They survive by eating leaves and drinking the dew that collects in them. It is said that sloths are the laziest animals in the world. My sloth arrived by express mail. He was about the size of a medium-ish dog with a flat nose and a monkey face. My mother wasn't happy, but a promise is a promise. Sparky, I decided, that will be your name. I took him outside to his tree. Sparky went right to sleep. <clears throat> I made a sign and put it under the tree. Guard sloth, enter at your own peril. Spooky, scary. It was two days before I saw him awake. He's asleep and he's asleep. Finally, we got him. He didn't know a lot of games, so I taught him some. We played King of the Mountain, and I won. We played Hide and Seek, and I won. We played Kung Fu Fighter, yeah, and I won. We played Statue, and Sparky was very, very good. 
That weekend, Mary Potts came over to investigate. Let me show you what Mary Potts is like. This is a picture of her room. Excellence in permission slip compliance. Best fire drill liner upper. Most likely to chew closed mouth in lunchroom. So she's very, very good all the time, apparently. It's hard to be good all the time. Before she even took off her coat, Mary said, let me see your new pet. I had some worries, but I took her out to Sparky's tree. He opened his eyes and looked at us, and then he closed them again. I rubbed his belly, but it was too late. We stood there for a while watching him sleep. His fur ruffled gently in the breeze. I feel sorry for you, Mary said. My cat can dance on her hind legs, and my parrot knows 20 words, including God and ice cream. Sparky knows tricks too, I told her, but she didn't believe me. The next day, I made a poster and nailed it to the tree outside Mary Potts' house. Look at the poster. Have you ever made a poster? It's pretty fun. The sign says, train sloth extravaganza, countless tricks to mystify you, just seven days away. And so all week, we trained in secret. Sometimes Sparky slept through practice and I had to poke him awake. Sometimes he forgot what he was doing and we had to start over. Sometimes he took so long to fetch that I went inside and had dinner while I waited. I was starting to think the poster had been a mistake, but a promise is a promise. I promise I can turn this page. <laughs> On the day of the train sloth extravaganza, my mother set up lawn chairs. Three people came to see Sparky perform. My mother, Mary Potts, and Miss Edwin, the crossing guard. Miss Edwin approved of Sparky because he never ran in the streets. Smart sloth. Do I look like a ringmaster? I asked my mother. You look very interesting, she told me. I put a little glitter on Sparky just before the curtain went up. I kept wishing I had written two tricks instead of countless tricks on the poster. Play dead, Sparky, I said, and he did. Roll over, I said, and he didn't. Speak, I commanded. We all waited and waited. Speak, I said. Sparky looked at me. The only thing you could hear was the wind in the trees. He has a very pretty coat, doesn't he? Mrs. Edwin said finally. You can't just make, invent a brand new pet like that, Mary told me. A pet no one's ever even had. My mother came out with lemonade and cookies and everyone said, but everyone said they had to be going. Sparky and I watched them. Then my mother made me put the chairs away. Afterward, I gave Sparky a cookie, but he ate it so slowly. that I took it back again. <laughs> it was getting dark out. I looked at him and he looked at me. You could hear all the neighborhood dogs barking. And I reached over and tagged him on the claw.
You're it, Sparky. And for a long, long time, he was. The end. Thank you all so much for listening to Sparky. It really is one of my favorite stories. And if you have a pet at home, I hope it reminded you about how much you love spending time with your pet. And if you don't have a pet at home, maybe consider a sloth. You never know. All right. So the sloth in the story, Sparky, reminds me of an artwork we have at the museum. All the books always do. This one is from a book. This piece of art's from a book. Uh, the book is called Public and Private Life of Animals. And the art is a print from that book. And it shows a sloth and all sorts of other animals in very funny clothes. And why don't you take a look and see what sorts of animals you can find in the print. And what are they wearing? And what are they doing? You can see the sloth is yawning. And he has a hat, just like Sparky had in the uh, Sloth Extravaganza poster. Uh, this piece of art is illustrated by J.J. Granville. And the book it comes from is actually published for the first time in 1842 in France. and has a lot of very famous writers who contributed to it, including someone named Honoré de Balzac, who maybe when you're a little older you might want to look up. All right, so thank you all for joining us. Before we go, I'm gonna have one activity to suggest for you to try at home, a talent show. So everyone has something special they can do, everyone you've ever met. And so the people you're at home with, they have special things they can do too. So you all could put on a talent show together. Maybe you can whistle, or maybe someone in the house can dance, or if it's not something you can do with your body or something you can do to show people, maybe you like to draw and you don't want to stand up and draw, but you could put together your own art show or anything like that. All right, thank you all so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you have fun putting together your talent shows or your art shows. And we'll see you next week. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.